nuisance. Likewise, if I'm driving in a direction that's generally the wrong direction. So if I'm going to a new school, I have to leave myself time to get lost. So it, it's just something I've learned to live with. Now, someone once said to me, you know, look, just concentrate. First of all, use some visual signs. Like, you know, if you've got to go this way, you put a signal here. You know, like you don't walk out of a shop and you turn left, you'll have a dot in your right hand or something. So, but every time I've tried to concentrate to solve this, this problem, it doesn't help. It actually makes it worse. I get sweaty palms, you know, because I'm now failing. I'm consciously trying not to fail, and I'm actually failing as I'm standing there trying not to. And so it makes it, I think my emotional state sort of gets worse. I'm much better just relaxing and going with the flow and, and admitting I'm not really good at that and maybe I'll leave the 10 minutes. So they said concentrate. Well, that's not going to fix it. It probably would make it well. Why should I anyhow? And the next one was follow teacher's instructions. Why would you? Now imagine, like, I'm going to destroy you, so I really need you to cooperate, please. I mean, that's really what you're saying. It, it's sort of interesting. So when you look at what they offered them by way of advice, you know, prof professional advice, it's in their reports. They offered, no one said, you know, something useful. No one said anything that indicated they understood them. Now that's one of the issues you're going to have with these in your school. When you try and get this information across to people, it's going to be quite difficult. They're not going to want to believe you for a start because the onus on teachers then becomes enormous. Enormous. They could be creating, they could be destroying people when they got into a position they wanted to help people. They didn't want to hurt people. So when you react to their behaviour of the D rather than the motivation, it's probably a mistake. That's all. Simple as that. Any questions so far? Yes. That's, that is a really interesting question. I'll tell you why, I think, anyhow. Um, once upon a time, I'd have no hesitation. I would have said, absolutely, they'll become the trucking magnates. They'll become the people who build businesses through interpersonal, because interpersonal is also right brain largely. They'll build, they'll build businesses through relationships and physical hard work. Trouble is now, there's less and less opportunity for that, I think, uh, than there ever has been. So if you go to TAFE, You've still got to deal with computing and you've got to deal with language and reports and it, things are changing. A lot of the semi-skilled, unskilled stuff is gone, it's been automated. Um, I don't know. It's a good question. There, there's another thesis in a way, isn't it? Well, where do these people fit? In our, I mean, if I'd sent them to certain other cultures, it'd be fine because they're more kinesthetic visual. But in our culture, where do they fit? What will they do? What do we need them to do that a machine can't do? Because whatever a machine can do, it will do, eventually. And that's going to be really interesting. Uh, not interesting for them, but academically interesting, yeah. Just to that, when you go about having public school approach, there's always a problem about the you can. Loud as you can. Now, there's all that talk. Now, we all understand what's going on. How do, you, how do you resolve that dilemma? Because you've done suspended for 10 days, you're not doing your job. Yeah. You're having to have all this kid out of the cold, you're not doing your job. Yep. You're right. You More so in a secondary, mm. not so much in a primary. But the question is how do you move people from giving kids what they deserve to giving them what they need? That's going to be your dilemma. How do you do that? That's something I've got to really think about because I've been very, I almost spectacularly unsuccessful. Um, yeah, you are. Yeah. You know, the joy for me is that there aren't that many of them in, re in reality. You know, there are fewer than we think. And my guess is if we treated the C's like C's and we treated the A's like A's and the B's like B's, um, we wouldn't have anywhere near as many. So even that would be something. And if we understood them and we. We said to them, I'm going to punish you, I don't think it's going to help you at all, and I think it might make you think I hate you, but I don't, I like you very much, but I've got to punish you. 
because other people won't understand. You've already done them a service. Yeah? I'm only giving you the punishment because they expect me to. I think it's going to... Yeah, I'm worried you might think I don't like you because I'm punishing you, which is not the truth. And so as you uncover your assumptions, it might be helpful. It would be interesting to see. And if you had a good working relationship, it probably would work. You could actually punish them and they would accept it as an unfortunate thing. I mean, they deserve, they, in their mind they deserve it because in their mind they're bad. Yeah, but that's not changing the behaviour of what happens in school. No, no, but it's reframing it. I, could, I mean, they, they're not going to object if you punish them, first of all. If you have a good relationship, they, will not, no, no, they won't reject your punishment. They'll, they'll almost expect it because it's a, they'll think it. They, they think like everybody else. They deserve it. They know they've done a terrible thing. They deserve it. They expect it. They not want it, but they expect it. But if I said to them, I'm going to give it to you, but I don't think it's going to help you, it's not going to fix your behaviour because, yeah, but I'm going to have to do it because, you know, the other kids won't understand, the parents will complain, you know, you did hurt people, right? The, the other teachers won't understand what we're doing here otherwise, but I don't think it's going to, and I'm scared it might make you think I don't like you, and that would be a, mis that would be a problem for me because it's not true. But I'm going to do it anyhow because I have no choice. Yeah, if you did all of that, it might just help a bit. You'll tell me in a year's time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it's 